Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. When a child attempts to perform a skill alone, she may not be immediately proficient. So alone, she may perform at a certain level of competency. We refer this as a zone of actual development. However, with the guidance of a more knowledgeable other or MKO, competent adult or a more advanced peer, the child can perform at a higher level of competency. The difference between what the child can accomplish alone and what she can accomplish with the guidance of another is what Vygotsky referred to as the zone of proximal development. The zone represents a learning opportunity where a knowledgeable adult such as a teacher or parent or a more advanced peer can assist the child's development. The support or assistance that lets the child accomplish a task he cannot accomplish independently is called scaffolding. Scaffolding is not about doing the task for the child while he watches. It is not about doing shortcuts for the child. Unzipping the lunch bag, opening the food container, and putting straw in the child's tetra pack juice is not scaffolding. Scaffolding should involve the judicious assistance given by the adult or peer so that the child can move from the zone of actual to the zone of proximal development. When the adult unzips the zipper an inch or two and then holds the lunch bag still so that the child can continue to unzip the lunch bag is scaffolding. Loosening the food container lid just a bit and letting the child open the lid himself is scaffolding. The examples given shows how a right amount of assistance can allow the child to accomplish the task. The instructor should scaffold in such a way that a gap is bridged between a learner's current skill levels and the desired skill level. As learners become more proficient, able to complete tasks on their own that they could not initially do without assistance, the guidance can be withdrawn. This is called scaffold and fadeaway technique. Scaffolding, when done appropriately, can make a learner confident and eventually he can accomplish a task without any need for assistance. Now let's use this figure to make it more understandable. This is the instruction with scaffolding and this is the learning. This one is the actual level with the level that the learner achieves when alone and this is the potential level, the level that the learner achieves with the assistance of the teacher or a more advanced peer. While this dotted line is the zone of proximal development. This is the difference between what a child can accomplish alone and what she can accomplish with the guidance of another.